I'm Diana Mercer, and I'm a divorce attorney, mediator, and co-author of Making Divorce Work. Everyone is going to have something to say about your divorce. Many people will be sensitive and supportive, and they'll stick by you and not take sides. But you need to be ready for two kinds of troublemakers, folks who mean well and who aren't helpful, and the haters. The first category is people who mean well, but who are not helpful. Maybe they take your side, no matter how crazy. You were totally justified in throwing all of her stuff out of the second story window. Or maybe they got their legal education from TV commercials or soap operas. You know what, at least they mean well and they're trying to be helpful. The haters are the folks you really need to be ready for. These are the people in your life who think that people who get divorced are failures or weak, immoral, quitters or worse. Don't buy into their judgmental pronouncements because anyone who tells you it is too easy to get divorced has never been divorced. Know in your heart that the haters' pronouncements don't apply to you. You've thought about this carefully and you've tried your best to make your marriage work. The haters don't get this. But making you feel bad and passing judgment on your life is their drama, not yours. So how do you respond to the well-intentioned and to the haters? Rather than justifying your divorce to the haters who have their own agendas, you're going to walk your talk by taking personal responsibility. If you've done something to feel guilty about, you're going to apologize. If you've done something wrong, you're going to make it right. You are going to be responsible all of the way through this process to your spouse, to your children, to your family, to your job, to everyone. You are going to handle this in the best way possible and you're going to take the high road. When people in your life don't support you, don't take it personally. It may just be their own drama at work. Consider the following three examples. Your ex is very close with your family and they continue to include him in events, at times even excluding you. Are they trying to manipulate you into changing your mind or punish you for getting divorced? Or your best friend is in an unhappy marriage. When you tell her that your husband left and that you're getting divorced, she stops talking to you. Could it be that she's jealous or fearful that she'll have to face the reality of her own unhappy situation? Or you're the first person in your very traditional family to get divorced. When you break the news to your family, they call you a failure. They threaten to have your children taken away and they put you on the prayer list at church. Are they worried that they somehow let you down and that's why you're getting divorced? Or are they angry because it reflects badly on them? Can you see that these people are basing their behavior toward you on their issues and not yours? When you can take yourself out of the equation, you can get some perspective and see how counterproductive this kind of behavior is. One way to avoid theatrics and to maintain your sanity during your divorce is to keep what's happening in your divorce to yourself. Speaking with a therapist or a counselor can help, but on a very practical level, the best thing to do is to be a grown-up. Take personal responsibility for what goes on, stay in your own business, and keep moving forward. For more information, visit our website at makingdivorcework.com.